and fingers crossed it doesn't end. Yeah, England uh, through to the semi-finals of Euro 2024 after a penalty shootout win versus uh, Switzerland. The match saw England fall behind 1-0 after Mbolo stole in at the far post to put the Swiss ahead with only 15 minutes left. But Bukayo Saka then produced a moment of magic that saw England have relied on heavily throughout the tournament to equalise um, with that shot just five minutes later before England scored five out of five in the shootout. Uh, goalkeeper Jordan Pickford saved Manuel Kanji's uh, first spot kick as well. A very nervy game for all fans across the country. Speaking to TalkSport after the game, England boss Gareth Southgate gave his reasons for not making any early substitutions. We were talking through the game, but we were playing well. Um, and you're conscious that there could be another 20 minutes, another 50 minutes... Um, yeah, we weren't certain how long Luke might last, for example, um, and and the other changes weren't obvious because Bukayo was causing real problems down his side. Phil was having as much of the ball as as he's had. Um, of course, once we went behind, then we felt okay. We've got to gamble a bit with Luke um, and take a chance with pushing Jude a little bit further back, and and yeah. We were very, very offensive with our wing-backs then. Uh, Once we'd got the goal, we decided to stay that way because we felt that was a gamble worth taking. It it meant you're living on the edge a little bit because, uh, obviously, Eberici hasn't... He doesn't regularly play as a a wing-back, so... But he he did a sterling job for the team and... uh, Yeah, all all the players that came into the game were were fantastic again. Gareth Southgate's 100th... um, uh, uh, game in game charge. Game in charge, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And uh, one, one thing that I guess has been the theme of his time as England manager is he does take a long time to make the substitutions, don't he? Yeah. But he really um, did that. I mean, I know he did one at half time recently, I think, when he dragged off Conor Gallagher. Yeah, I don't think he's going to do that very yeah, he often. He doesn't do that at all, does no, he? No, he doesn't. I mean, yeah. He doesn't do that. Um, there's something. He, look, Gaff's always going to be very pragmatic in the way he's thinking. Yeah. Like he talked there. If you, if you listen to his explanation why he didn't make any substitutions till late on, it's because he's considering extra time, an extra half hour. Mm. Luke Shaw, will he get through that? He needs to be absolutely confident he will do. So he's tried to hold it to the latest possible moment. Now, in some games, you're going to get a reaction from fans who say, you know, there are some fans that are calling for substitutions at 55 minutes. Mm. You know, you hear them say, got to get him on now, got to get him on. Oh, that yeah. sort of idea. Look, you, substitutions is a skill, isn't it? About impacting. When you're making substitutions, it's about impacting something that isn't happening in the game that you need to see. And, you know, you've got to be good at it. I think Gaff, that's not been one of his biggest strengths, if I'm honest on that. But I think he's learned during the competition this time around about the timings of his sub because it feels like the last couple of games, not just this one, the previous ones against Slo- Slovakia, the changes had an impact. Yeah, they certainly have, and that's all you can ask for, right? Yeah. Uh, look, we've asked for your calls uh, this morning, 03717 to have your say, and you haven't disappointed. The phone lines are lighting up. Jerry, the Manchester United fan, has had he say as well. Jerry, morning. Uh, thank you very much for calling in. Uh, go on, floor's yours. What do you want to say about the game? Morning, guys. Um, for me, it's, it's Kane and Foden. I wasn't overly happy with Kane and I haven't been for the whole tournament. My reason being is, they're saying that he sacrificed himself to help Foden out, Bellingham out, whatever. But I watched him last night, and I could be wrong, but I'm sure. He he didn't win many headers to knock the ball onto anybody. Mm. He's running around just using energy for the sake of using energy. He's not giving you, you know, sack across the ball in God knows how many times. No one there. You know, Mm. on a penalty spot, there's nobody there. I just don't understand why he's not, and I get he's our captain, but change him, take him off earlier, put somebody on that's going to change the game up, put a bit of different different dynamic to the game, a bit of pace or, or whatever. Mm. And he didn't do it. And it was the same with Foden. I, 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 again, I don't feel he's had a, a big enough impact. And don't get me wrong, the whole 11 really haven't. But on, on games that matter, like yesterday, mm. I, I didn't see much from them. I just don't get why he's not thinking, let's give it a change, take Kane off, or not even start him. The, the, he, I, he, he looks gone. I was saying earlier, Jerry, to Addy, that I was saying that, look, sometimes the instructions from a manager, and this is something fans wouldn't be aware of, that I got asked to do for the Republic of Ireland as a centre forward, was that not to run into certain positions on the pitch. So if Zach, uh, mm-hmm. Saka crossed it, I wouldn't be the one running across the defender because I was 
kept out so I'd stretch the back four so a yeah. midfielder could run in and get on the end of a side foot cross because so that what? space was made available for them. So I was, I, was, I was sort of trying to defend Kane in that sort of scenario. So what, what then would have been his game plan, do you think, for yesterday? Because I was watching him. He wasn't knocking balls on. So no. I don't get it. If you're, if you're dropping deep, you're dropping deep to try and head that ball or play it forward to somebody else. I didn't see that either. So I was very confused with what his role was. Yeah. There, there, there wasn't one, Jerry. I think that, that's the answer. There wasn't one. He, he had a poor game. I think, you know, we can sugarcoat it and try and give him excuses. He, he just, he had a poor game. And if you're Ollie Watkins on the bench, you're probably thinking, what have I actually got to do here to get a few more minutes? Because when we saw Watkins in the first game, he looked all right when he came on. He was running down the channels. Well, and he, he stretches teams. That's his yeah. game. Yeah. You know, Kane has never been... He's not the quickest, but he's a strong runner. Yeah. But he's not hes not going to get beyond the defender and outrun them. He'll u- normally use his upper body strength just to stay alongside them. But he's been an incredible goal scorer for England and club. You know, his goal record is sensational. Mm. And I think it's... I personally think he needs a partner. Yeah. I think he's at the stage of his career now that you have to have someone alongside him to make Kane still be that goal scorer that's going to, if anything drops, who else is going to convert it? Yeah. I would I would always put my money on Harry. I think he's actually quite comfortable in his position. I think he needs a threat to know that if he's not Who runs beyond him. No, no, I mean a threat in terms of if I'm not performing, I, I'm not oh, right, guaranteed okay. to start yeah. like a threat like that. Like, yeah. I think a he, challenge, I think, a challenge, yeah, yeah, and yeah. I don't know if Watkins or Ivan Tony offer that challenge. Uh, Harry Newcastle fan uh, has got in touch as well. Uh, Harry, um, you looked at the performance yesterday. Look, we, you know, we, we're looking at these small details, aren't we? England didn't do this. England didn't do that. The fact is, England are into a semi final of the European Championship. But it's the most boring football I've ever watched in my life. I just don't think Southgate's got a Scooby-Doo what he's doing at all. It's like mm. we've changed to a back five. What are the centre-backs in the squad thinking? We've, we're missing Gahey because he's suspended. And Southgate's gone to a back five. Like, what, what, what? did he not trust the other centre-backs in the squad? It's like, I just don't understand what he's doing. Harry Kane's absolutely stinking the gap up for us. <laughs> That's mm. just not working. I just don't know what the plan is. No, like, um... It's a good point, though, isn't it? I mean, if you are one of the other centre-backs, I mean, you basically... He said Gahey is not there. So, OK, because Gahey's not there, guys, we've got to go to a back three now because Gahey's not there. If no, you are I'm, a Dunk or a Gomez or, or It a was given away yesterday when we were talking to Andy Woodman because it was quite clearly that was more than one issue within the England team. It wasn't just a back four or a back three and pushing the wine back. There was a complete change of tactics and it was also the opposition they were playing against. Mm. And I think he had major concerns of the way they were playing. And I think I think the one good thing about England, they didn't look like scoring Switzerland. I know that obviously they did in the, in the end with the deflection off a of stones for the goal, but they looked really comfortable in the game, which they haven't done against. They certainly didn't look comfortable against Serbia or Slovakia in their group games. Denmark neither. They wasn't comfortable, even though they didn't concede major amount of goals they didn't look comfortable yesterday they did but there has to be more in forward areas I, I, I make Harry right on you know the ambition of the England team isn't enough at the moment Harry give me a positive obviously look we, we, are, we are through uh, to a, a, another semi-final of a major tournament w- what positives can you take from yesterday's performance if any the, posi- the positive is we're going to draw every game get to a final <laughs> and win it and Pickford's going to do it for us well, you're, but, we're Harry would you be happy goal. with that though Potentially, my issue is <laughs> would I want to win it if it means Southgate staying? Potentially not. Um, <laughs> France are going to win it this way, aren't they? Though France well, haven't D- scored D- a goal B- from open play, they're going to win it this way. Well, think about it from a France perspective. In 2018, they had a team that won the World Cup. What was it? Four two in the end, was it? Or four three? The final comment. I know they got four in the game, and and then Mbappe got three. And the French were an exciting team mm. and won things, and they've turned into a really stubborn, pragmatic, conservative football team. And Dijon's very comfortable with that. Yeah. Because they believe he'll win them at all. Harry, what do you make of Phil Foden? Obviously, look, coming into this tournament, um, look, the player of the season, right? Man City's player of the season, football writers' player of the season. He, he literally won every single accolade. And he looks a shadow of himself from the player we saw at Man City. He seemed to get the position he wanted yesterday, that kind of floating number 10 role, but still not much from Foden. But I don't think it was, though, because the formation we're playing means we're playing two in there, and 
Well, he, he's never played in that position with someone playing in the same position next to him. It's just we've changed the formation, tried to put him in a position where we think we can, he can be effective, and obviously it's just not going to work. Uh, like, are we making too many excuses way. for him, though? I mean, yes, it's not his <laughs> ideal position. It's not, it's not perfect for him. But surely a player of that ability can still make things happen from anywhere on the pitch. But the fact that Southgate hasn't learned that he, it's not happening and he's not dropping him, I think our big issue here. It's like, I don't, I don't understand why Southgate's looking at it going, well, Phil Foden's not working. I'll give him another game. I'll give him another game. I'll give him another game. No, drop him. Do something different, Southgate. Have some bottle about you. Was ist das? Talksport?